16 polls of the evening and it's Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, episode two, season one. So in the first episode, it's it's perfect. The see, oh my god, the second episode is amazing, so good. Um, the first episode I was complaining about how we're thrown into the action. Then a little introduction. Uh, we get we did get a good introduction, but it's it's hard to be part of a precinct when you don't know the people. And then Brooklyn Nine Nine is so good because it has those stereotypical um character. He half boil who less confidence. We have Terry Crews, who's this big guy, big muscly guy, but he's afraid. We've got uh, Jake Peralta, who is a fuck up, right? Uh, this note is oh, so good. Um, we got Charles. We got a. We, we got two main main story story plots. We got plot A, which is Jake um, arrests the son of a of of a Irish rap. Doesn't know if he should give the. Uh, if she give him, give him him, because he can lose his the area up could fire him. He could down downgrade him. It's like hey, am I risking my position, right? And we got plot B where Gina, which is Fernando, one of my favorite character, Gina. She's <laughs> Gina introduced one of his sidekick, and she tells Charles that yo, you'll never be with Rosa. Um, so we, oh fuck. And one side of funny, we see Charles, who's who's seen that the a lot of prediction. Very vague, he's becoming true, so it's like he's giving up on Rosa. And Rosa, she's the one that says, Yo, keep going, you can do it. And Rosa, she may be a tough cookie, but she has a soft spot, she has a big heart, and this is one of the first time we see it. And the, the plot with Jake, I think, is more interesting. We got this character that's like, Yo, um, Jake, and the first episode, Jake didn't give a shit. Jake, Jake didn't want to be Jake. And then we're seeing old influence on him. For example, when he wants to make the arrest, if it was up to Jake, he wouldn't do it. But always like, Yo, you got a responsibility. I trust you. I believe in you. You have to do it. And then you realize that all is a good influence. It might be the mentor that Jake needed. And it's just a good show. It's just a good episode. It's honestly super, super, super good. Because we're seeing the character evolve. We're seeing the, the, the chemistry between the characters. There's more in this chemistry. It's like, yeah, they've been working together for years. They know each other. But there's still a day-to-day. There's still a routine. Everything changed, you know? Yeah, pretty good shit. Pretty good shit.